Welcome to the walkthrough of the 2020 Keeping It Together Weekly Lux Planner. As you see on the very first introduction page here, we're gonna remind you of our mantra, to do more, be more, and give more. This has been our mission since day one, and it's a mission we wish to share with you all as well. Over here on the left, you'll find a paper pocket, perfect for folded papers, receipts, whatever you'd like to store with you as you go along the year with your planner. Let's go ahead and get right in. The first spread within the planner is gonna be a quarterly check-in. This is a very unique component to keeping it together Lux planning system. More than just a planner, of course, this is a lifestyle system. Here, we're gonna focus on a personal development topic, which changes every quarter. This one happens to be habits. There's a worksheet that uh, is connected to or related to the topic for that quarter. And then over here on the right, we're gonna be focusing on progression from the previous quarter. We're gonna be taking stock and personal inventory, doing a little self-study, and setting goals for the quarter ahead. You'll notice that those goals should be supported with habits. Okay, so again, this will come once every three months, and the personal development topic will change in each of those three months. It's a great place to start the year and a great way to get your mind into an intentional planning space. Hopefully, we'll take everything that we've done here and apply it into our monthly and weekly planning. All right, we're welcomed into each month by a monthly welcome page. In our weekly planner, this is the only space that you will find a splash of color. I'll explain why in just a few moments. But this page does have a character attribute challenge, a kindness challenge, a prompt for something to try in the kitchen. We've got a little something extra, which can fluctuate from month to month, monthly maintenance reminders, and of course, observations and celebrations. Things that perhaps aren't in our calendar, but very noteworthy indeed. You'll see on our monthly spread, two page monthly spread, you've got plenty of space to do your monthly planning. The squares are a great size. You'll notice that holidays are highlighted with small flags, and the holidays are designated here in text as well. You've got your previous month and your following month, as well as goals over here on the right-hand space. Here is a great space to reflect back to your quarterly check-in and break your quarterly goals down into monthly goals. And again, you'll notice this space is neutral. We are all black and gray within this weekly planner. As we enter into our first week of the year, December 30th through January the 5th, you'll see that every day of the week has its own column. This is a vertical planning space. On the top of each day, you have a space for tasking. On the bottom of the day, you have a space for time blocking and scheduling. The layout of this planner is perfect for a visual personality. Being able to stack your days up against each other and see where you have open space, see where you're quite busy, and just make your plans accordingly. Very, very visual, which is why we have chosen to make the weekly planner neutral allowing your plans to stand away from the page, allowing your highlights, your colored pens, your stickers, your washi to make an impact, to stand away from the page and be more visible to you, the planner. Over here on the left-hand side, we do have a customizable space. It can be used as task listing for the week ahead. It can be used as headers if you'd like to. For example, you could put meal plan and then plan your meals on each of the lines to follow throughout the week. This space could also be used with our weekly tracker stickers. This, for example, is a habit tracker, fits perfectly into the space. We also have an option for meal planning. These are, again, our stickers. So you can stick it right into the space and customize your weekly spread. Also a fun way to start adding some color to the page. Now, at the bottom, you may not be surprised to find, of course, weekly gratitude. We wanna keep weekly gratitude at the forefront of our minds, as well as our wellness and self-care. 
You'll also find an inspirational quote at the bottom right hand side. These inspirational quotes are handpicked by our team. Each of the weeks to follow throughout the month have the same formatting, the same layout. But at the end of the month, we do have a few bonus tools. At the end of each of the months in our weekly Lux Planner, you will be greeted with a monthly budget. Okay, our budget includes both income and expenses with prompts for totals and ooh, savings. The next spread is for looking back and looking forward. We've got a monthly reflection as well as monthly aspirations. These are some really great worksheets to keep you present. The last page is a habit tracker. Habit tracking is a very beneficial way to make sure that we're getting habits in. You list the habit that you wish to get into your routines, and for each day that you accomplish it throughout the entire month, you can color in, give yourself a check mark, put a star, whatever you'd like. That way you can see the patterns of the building of that habit. Down here at the bottom, we have a little bit of a questionnaire asking how you feel after the month of working on those habits. Okay, so again, these tools, the budget, the reflection, the looking forward, um, and the habit tracking are included for every month in the weekly Lux. Okay, and again, every month you will be greeted. This is our splash of color in the weekly planner. <music> bonus check-in that we like to call an end of year reflection that comes right before December. This allows us to give us a review of everything we've been through in the year before we roll into the new year. And that concludes the walkthrough of the Keeping It Together weekly Lux Planner for 2020. <music>